How you doing, John? Pretty good, how you doing? <laughs> good. What are you here to see? I was gonna watch a Barbie movie. Yeah? yeah. Let's have a seat over here. With who? I mean, if you could show me on the Barbie doll where you were planning to touch this girl. Listen, I'm an off-duty police officer from another jurisdiction. Oh, you are? Yes. This man here brought a Barbie doll, and he's here to see the Barbie movie with us. So you are a police officer? I am a real police officer. Okay. This is a real badge. Great. Let me You're 33 years old. Okay. Uh, Christ on a crutch. Uh, this is completely stupid. I don't even know. No, this is not stupid. This is it's... criminal. Okay. Okay. If you want a chance to win the Barbie doll that was featured in this video, be sure to head down to the eBay link in the description below where you can uh, bid on this here Barbie starting at just $1 is what I'm auctioning it off at. I've already taken the time to uh, go ahead and uh, you know autograph the box here. And you know, my signature alone is worth like $10,000 probably. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. Not to mention 100% of whatever it goes for is just gonna go to charity. Um, I, I found this one for like a children's hospital or something like that on eBay. Uh, whatever it goes for, it's all gonna go to that. So, uh, you know, if you wanna bid on this, you have 72 hours from the time of the posting of this video to do it. Uh, you know, if you're interested, have at it. This here is 33-year-old John, and on one lonesome Sunday afternoon, he decided to take a 14-year-old girl to see the Barbie movie, but it doesn't stop there. He even went as far as to buy a Barbie doll for the girl to enjoy while she was watching the movie. Could this just be John being genuine, or is it predatory behavior? Find out on this episode of To Skeet a Predator, Barbie Edition. I'm your host, Skeet Hansen. And I hope you brought your appetite because we've got a lot of predator pasta to dish out here. Now you might be wondering how John got himself into this situation to begin with. Well it all started on the good old scout dating app where he reached out to our decoy profile. He sparked up quite the conversation with unspoken Riz, as the younger generation would call it, or in this instance, Kennergy. Hey, you want to watch the Barbie movie together? <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Okay, when are you free? I'll be free on Sunday, but I'm only 14 though, is that okay? 14? Uh, I'm 33. That's illegal. I won't tell anybody. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, you're pretty cute. I'm not trying to do anything weird with you, though. Oh, thanks. You're so sweet. You know, if we went to the movie together, it would kind of be like a date. LOL. So cute. Maybe we could go to dinner, too. Oh, my God. I would love that. Now, even though John didn't particularly get sexual within the chat log, it still makes you wonder what interest a 33-year-old man would have with a 14-year-old girl in any instance whatsoever. John claimed that all he wanted to do was go with the girl to see the Barbie movie. He said that he didn't like seeing movies by himself. But if you ask me, that's a load of horse shit. Now John did mention that a 14-year-old girl would be illegal for him to be around. But you gotta wonder what persuaded him to meet up with this girl anyway. There's only one way to really find that out, so let's go ahead and get into the interaction. So here is our potential predator. His name is John. He came across the profile on one of the dating apps. Um, right off the bat, the girl did tell him that she was 14. And now he hasn't gotten sexual at all. I think he's being really careful. However, he is here to take this girl to see a couple movies. He wants to see something else after Barbie. Maybe he's trying to see Oppenheimer too. And as you can see, he went to Target and got the Barbie doll with no bag, okay? Just raw box. He's, he's raw boxing it right now, boys. I don't know if that's a saying, but it's it's gonna be a saying now. You know, Gideon says raw dog. I think my thing's gonna be raw box it. Raw, raw Barbie box it. Yeah, 
Look at his hand here. It just, it just looks disgusting. It's all hairy and shit. And, and pale and bany. Ugh. Oh. The big ass <laughs> hand, bro. Looks like Master Hand from Smash Bros. Oh, shit. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> what the f is that? We're too unprofessional to be doing this. He says, I gotta figure out how I can sneak it in. I don't have any baggy clothes. I'm gonna say, just put it in your pants. So he's gonna have a Barbie you know, in his pants. Pulling it out of, his, out, out of his. Okay, so we just got word from the decoy that he has, John has in fact purchased the Barbie movie tickets and he got seats here and I quote, he got seats in the back row in the middle section. So you gotta wonder what, what his real plan is here. He decided, are we at the same entrance? So he must be at an entrance. I don't see anyone outside. I'm at the, I mean, I'm just pull around. We're in front of the main entrance. Yeah, we can like just drive just around. around. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 there it is. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Okay, we see him. See yeah, we, I, I see him with the box and everything. Would you like me to call him and get um, there he is. you approaching him in the background? Just for fun? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there he is walking in. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay. He's got the new balance on. Yeah, these definitely weren't the airbred he's got, ones. He's got the, he got the grill master sevens, bro. Seriously. Gonna go and get the, get this chair out of here. Just in case there's no like chairs for him to sit in, make sure you get a good zoom on that Barbie doll. Okay. Oh, there we go. How you doing, John? Pretty good. How you doing? <laughs> good. What are you here to see? I was gonna watch a Barbie movie. Yeah. Let's have a seat over here. With who? You want to just have a seat? I have a few questions for you. Sure. I'm with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Okay. Okay. Now I have to ask you a couple questions here. Yeah. Sure. What, what, I mean, what, what brings you here? Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I'd like to see it, but I, I was told she wanted to see it and she hasn't saw it, so I was gonna... You were told who wanted to see it? Uh, Taylor. Taylor, how did you meet, um, how did you meet this, this Taylor? Uh, on some, uh, site called Meet Me. Okay. And between you and Taylor, what was, what kind of things were, were talked about? I just talk about like not not a whole lot just okay movie and, stuff. and and how old is um how old is taylor she uh, said the profile said 18. okay i think she was i think it says 14 or so. i think she said 14. she did tell you that she was she was 14. okay that's okay right. yeah and you are how old i'm 32. <clears throat> and John, right? Yeah. John, what business does, you know, a 32-year-old man have, you know, meaning a 14-year-old girl? None at all. <laughs> so, why why are you here? Uh, I just, I don't know, I was going to watch a movie, and, you know, she said she wanted to see it. I was going to just watch with her and, and just go on our way. So you were going to meet I, I, up I, with her, get tickets to the Barbie movie in the top back section where it's well, I, nice I and dark the, so she she wanted to sit in the back and i'm like oh she eh. did okay because i asked like uh front middle back i i don't know how the seats here are i haven't been to this seat front yet. middle back side to side okay yeah. gotcha so wh where were you planning to get the the movie theater seats uh normally when i watch a movie it's front row front so row i can see <laughs> okay gotcha just like you're kind of you know front row right now you know the only only seat in the house yeah and i see you brought a uh, barbie doll there yeah I, she said she likes them so i wanted a collection or something i think one of she wanted to collect them something i she wanted to have it in the i don't know <laughs> okay Okay, no, I, I, I got gotcha. you. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get the, you know, the facts straight here. Right, yeah. So you met up with, met this girl online on a dating app, and she told you she was 14. Is no. it not a dating app now? What's that? It used to be my yearbook. That's, I, I, um, guess, I, I guess it would I don't be don't know. considered a dating app now. Yeah, how long have you been on, on the app? Oh, God, I've had an account forever, but I'm not, like... Not really on it like that? No, because everybody on there is, like, a bot. <laughs> so it's, yeah. like... Okay. But you found that this 14-year-old girl wasn't, wasn't a bot, you know? Right. Yeah. And, okay. 
So your plan was to just come here, meet come her, here, chit chat, watch a movie, have some popcorn, maybe some cotton candy, give her a Barbie doll, and chill and with her in the in the back area of the movie theater or wherever in the movie theater. Right. And you were planning to see a couple movies with her. At first, I was gonna just watch the Barbie one, then I saw uh, Oppenheimer was playing today. So I was like, oh man, that would be so cool to watch that. Oppenheimer, yeah, I heard that was a good one. Yeah, I, About three hours long, pretty lengthy. Is it really? Pretty lengthy movie. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, so you That's were planning- That's about the nukes with the- Yeah, yeah. And speaking of nukes, you, I mean, I think you, you dropped a nuke on your whole career here. I mean, you know, this is a 14 year old girl. Yeah, I, you know, John, I mean, you know, the movie's three hours long. The Barbie movie is, what, an hour and 20 minutes or so. You, yeah, you're, Ryan Gosling. You're, yeah. Big fan of him. So. Right, yeah. What do you think he would think of this? Uh, he'd be disappointed, just like I am. Thinking yeah, it's that, very disappointing. Yeah. I mean, Barbie and Oppenheimer, that's a that's like a whole day. You had a whole day planned with this girl, it seems. Oh, uh, at seven, I'm like, nah, I, I only was going to watch the one because I, I can't be out late. Like, Why can't you be out late? I can't drive at night. <laughs> oh, okay, you just... Is it like an eyesight thing? Yeah. Okay. I'm losing vision in my right eye, so it's like... It's hard for me to believe that you were just going to watch a movie with her. Right. And that's no, it. I fully understand that. That's... So do you see how it looks? No, I do, yes. Right. I mean, honestly, Jen, you know, I mean, if you could show me on the Barbie doll where you were planning to touch this girl. Uh, no, I wasn't planning to touch her. You weren't her. planning it? No. Not even put, have an arm around her or anything? Nothing like that? No. Okay. Now, John claimed that his only intention was to take this girl to see the Barbie movie, and that may very well be true. I really can't prove otherwise. Uh, regardless, a few days after this interaction, John has taken the time to write me a nice long email threatening to file a lawsuit against me if I post this video on YouTube. I don't know if he's bluffing or not, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. And, uh, you know, speaking of lawsuits in general, this video is actually sponsored by Morgan & Morgan, who is America's biggest injury law firm. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> I'm Sellout Skeet, and I want your money, so let's talk about Morgan & Morgan. Did your girlfriend tell you that size doesn't really matter? Well, she's lying to you, and she's probably cheating on you with a much more competent male. It is what it is. Get over it. I'm here to tell you that size does matter, and Morgan & Morgan is America's biggest injury law firm with over 800 attorneys operating in 49 different states. Now most of us have been in a car accident at some point and have needed to get in contact with a lawyer. Well with Morgan & Morgan and only a few clicks on your phone, you can get in contact with your lawyer without having to be bothered with going to law offices and stuff like that. They make it extremely easy. You can do things like sign documents and submit medical records, all from your mobile device. If you need to submit a claim with the biggest injury law firm in America, you can do so in only eight clicks. It's really that easy. You can start your claim today with Morgan & Morgan by going over to www.forthepeople.com slash Skeeter, or just dial 529 from your cell phone. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hand you back over to Skeet Hansen. No, I like, like just eat some popcorn, you know, watch a movie and, gotcha. and go home. That's okay. From the, the outside look. From an outside job, look, yeah, I, I completely understand. Cause yeah, I mean, and it's, you know, I mean, w were you not thinking about that before you, you know, you came here? Honestly, no, I've, I was working all weekend and I, I just, I saw she wanted to watch. And I'm like, hey, you know, Ryan Gosling's in it. I'd love to watch it. All my friends already sure. watch it. I was like. Sure, why not? And I mean, I, I don't know, I know this sounds stupid, but I hate watching movies by myself. So, I mean, I haven't okay. seen a lot of movies that came so out. So there, there's no one your age, say an adult, that you could go see the movie with? It had to be a... I have like no friends at all. I, I've tried like Facebook, but then my account got hacked on there. So I made a okay. new one. You, you should really, if you do have friends, I mean, why not just hang out with them? Or if you have even, you know, friends just on Facebook or whatever the case may be, you know, why? Question here. How you doing? Fine. Uh, listen, I'm an off-duty police officer from another jurisdiction. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, um, perfect. Oh, that's perfect, because we were actually getting ready to call you guys because uh, th this man here brought a Barbie doll, and he's here to see the Barbie movie with uh, a 14-year-old girl Okay. from online. Could I see the, your badge one more time? Yeah, well, show it to you again. Okay. Okay. All right. Looks like I'm going to be here okay. a while. Yeah, that looks so, good. Judge, you're Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were just getting ready to call you guys, so. Chris, my name's Chris, too. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, Chris. Yep. Okay. My name's Chris. Chris, okay. That's Chris. Hi, I'm, okay. I'm Skeeter. That's going to be easy. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right. Well, oh, if you could just show your badge to the camera for verification purposes, okay. just so we have everything on file. All right. So you are a police officer. I am a real police officer. Okay. This is a real badge. Great. Let me get my ID out of the other. As unbelievable as it may seem, in the midst of us talking to John, an off-duty police officer swooped in to save the day. I couldn't believe what was happening. Pocket. Appreciate you. All right. Appreciate it, sir. Okay, just on the off chance, did anybody see uh, a uh, light skin black male, shorts, uh, light blue top, about five minutes ago to come flying through here at about Mach 4. Holy uh, crap. Oh, no. Was That's awfully fast. Hey, well, what, what, know, is, what is that you got he there? He, he was running. Was, he, he was covering. Okay, public safety. He, he was covering some dirt here because I just watched him snatch a woman's purse. Oh, watched no. him? Yeah. I wow. I haven't seen anybody run. Yeah, before. okay. Look, I'm, Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. He has probably a good 40 years on me. Okay. Okay. And I haven't checked my uh, 40 uh, time lately. Gotcha. In about 35 years, okay. I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, All right, Chris. Yeah. Look, no, under, be, understandable. Yeah. Understandable right. for sure. Okay. Yeah. And your name? My name's John. John? Okay. Um, Wait, John, do you, did you have an idea on you? Or? Yeah. Okay. okay. John, you want to? Okay. Uh, Say what's going on here. Has anybody called 911? Uh, we have not. We've been sort of just talking to the individual, seeing, you know, sort of what's going okay, on. Okay, John. With him. Yes, sir. I'm out of my jurisdiction, so I really have no other, okay? No, I, I, anything you say, I don't All right, worries. but let me get this straight. Uh, you're... 36. Looks to be 32. About, yeah, sorry. 32. Sorry. Yeah, 32. No, actually, age for a second. 33. 30, you're 33. You're 33 years old, and you were going to meet a 14-year-old female? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Christ on a crutch. Uh, yeah. I thought the same did, thing, Chris. Did what, What's what's going on here? Uh, this is completely stupid. I don't even know. No, this is not stupid. This is it's... criminal. Okay. 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 I mean, I mean, I mean she's 14 after all. John, you, 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 you knew before you, you came. Yeah, I, you know. Completely out of my head. Okay. You had so much time to think. You been how long you've been talking to this girl? I, I can I, about a week maybe. Yeah. You had a whole a week to days, think. Week. Zero so you didn't at any point think, you know, this girl's fourteen. Maybe I should be talking to her. Right. Okay. And that didn't cross your, your mind. It did, and I just like. I shouldn't. And what, what was the urge that? It wasn't really. Didn't an urge. make just, you. Just wanted no? to watch a movie. Just want to watch a movie. My ass. I. Okay. Uh, you you see how it looks, John. It's just. Yeah, I know it, how it looks. Yeah. I, no, no, John. It looks more than that. All right. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's, well, let's try this again. I just got off the phone with some, with dispatch about the purse snatching. So. Okay. Looks like we came just in time. When it rains, it pours here. Yeah, sure does. Good old Kalamazoo. Uh, Kalamazoo 10 on West Main. Okay, I just I called a few minutes ago. This is a completely unrelated uh, issue. I called relating a purse snatching at the Aldi's just a few minutes ago. Uh, I had stopped to see if somebody had seen something, and I was flagged down by security here at Kalamazoo 10. Uh, we've got possible solicitation of a minor, and uh, their individual is here and uh, with management and security of the Kalamazoo 10. So if you could uh, send an officer. I gotta ask, John, are, are, those, are, 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 those, are those the sex offender 11s? Last name sex of Klinko. Uh, the sex offender 11s, the shoe. Are those the shoe? Oh, I don't even. First name of John, John uh, O'Shea. Are, are, are they just New Balance? Middle name of Edward, I don't know about common shoe. spelling. Yeah. Oh, okay, you just like picked a, I, I just literally picked a random shoe. I literally rock. Oh, okay. Well, well, you, you knew, yeah, they, they look like the SE11s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They look uh, like the SE11s, yeah. Aqua you knew about the, knew about the Barbie uh, movie, though. Tropical shirt, uh, black huh? nylon You, you knew about the Barbie movie, though. White. Yeah, Ryan Gosling. Uh, yeah, you knew about that. You don't live that much under a rock. I do have his ops code if you need it. John. The second. Oh, the second. 
Not this does not bring recipes, uh, honor to your dad's them. name, John, I don't think. No, I... What would he think of this? He'd beat the shit me just like I, I honestly should have beat the on myself for even talking Okay, to I'm uh, Chris Martin. And what is he going to do when he finds I'm out about this? I'm a police officer with Kellogg Community the College. Yeah, I don't blame him. I'd... Okay, uh, easiest way to spot me is I'm the guy in the loud red and white shirt. I'll be standing in the fire lane right in front of the main entrance. Uh, we've got... Uh, Just look out for the Barbie doll. Yep. Yeah. It's right there on the ground. And John, do you, do you have anything else to say for yourself here? Honestly, I just wish I just thought and used my fucking brain that I apparently don't have. I think if you just took a second in the week time frame that you had when you were talking to this girl to use your brain, I don't think you'd be in this situation right now. Do you? No, I, I definitely wouldn't. I wouldn't even... You wouldn't have even came here probably. Even... I mean, is, is it that bad seeing a movie by yourself? Honestly, it's... To where you have to... It's you not. Know, meet a 14 year old girl to I, go see one. So, what's the problem, John? Where did, where did things go wrong? I mean, why not just come to the movies by yourself? I guess after. There, there's got to be another adult that would want to see a movie with you. There's, there's someone out there for everyone, John. You know? And that outside, someone outside isn't any friends. I don't. I like. I, okay. I uh, have watched movies with my dad. Like. Okay. But Do you think he's going to watch movies with you after this? <laughs> no. He's probably not even going to talk to me anymore. Yeah, this guy was, this guy was just f***ing gone. Oh, man. Was he on foot or in a car? He's on foot. Oh, foot. Probably a track star then. Probably. Yeah, I know. This guy could have outrun the Nolan Ryan fastball. Oh, shit. That's something to mess around with. Yeah. Because he came flying across them. He was right here. And I don't know whether he went in there. Went in there with that guy who was driving me around. Yeah. He said, somebody get something. I said, yeah, a woman's purse was snatched. Can you give me a lift? Damn. You got to wonder. Well, I mean, what are they putting in the fried chicken these days, you know? I don't know, but I'll tell you this much. It's whatever just... this guy did, uh, come to find out. He that, was, uh, that was a di- term, I believe, on one. Yeah, that, that sounds like it. it. Good. Nope. Yeah, we, we need we need more people like you right here, Chris. One hell of a I'll tell you that. Yep. And I've also reminded me one thing. I need to knock about 30 pounds off my fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all need to shave off a little bit of weight. God, I've been trying to do that for years. Yeah. I'm, I mean, you got a little bit of cardio going to the Target today and getting the Barbie doll. You know, so that's that's a start. Well, John, if there's nothing else that you have to say, what I have to let you know is that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial What's Investigation. Uh, Skeet Hansen. Skeet Hansen? I'm Skeet Hansen. Okay. Yeah. Short for Skeeter. Like, is that your real name? Or? That's my government, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. Skeet Hansen, short for Skeeter. Okay. That's fine. So I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with teens online, just in general, whether right. it be for sex or just, you know, in general. And you've just been skeeted in 4K. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Yeah, that's just, you know, it's kind of just my catchphrase. You know, phrase. outside of yeah. the situation, that's that's great. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it. I, I have a question. Is, uh, sure. Is your, um, you said your government name, is that in relation to, like, who's Hansen then, I take it? Uh, it, it is. He's a distant relative. Really? Mm-hmm. Like actual? Or? Actual. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's awesome. He's that's... my great great grand uncle. Really? Mm-hmm. What's the, what's the term? Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's it. That's, you know, that's, I'm just that's awesome, and I'm I'm glad you guys do this. That's... Yeah. So so you're glad that we we caught you. Per I mean, se. yeah, I, I I honest to God, Interesting. you know. That's interesting. We don't we don't hear that a lot. Yeah, I I just you know I don't understand why I thought it was okay to do this like I I I don't know how to talk that well so I apologize but so you don't have the uh, riz as they say riz riz I don't know uh, riz as the younger generation says I don't know what that means um, as in charisma game oh flirtation oh god no I don't I oh okay you don't. I haven't okay. talked to a girl in like yeah, I mean, the, the shoe okay, game no, kind of told take, me. Let me, let me rewind that. The, the like, shoe game was a clear, you know, I, indicator. I got them for Christmas, but. Ah, okay. <laughs> but I mean, I. Not his fault. So, like 10 years ago, was the last time I had a girlfriend, like. 10 years ago, okay. Yeah, I. <laughs> the last time you had a girlfriend or last time you last had time any. I had a girlfriend and any. And any. Anything. Involvement. Any, with, any involvement with anybody. John, Honestly, I probably should. Yes, sir. Got a question for you. Yes, sir. How's your Latin? Latin? Latin. I don't know Latin. You don't know Latin? Okay, well, I'm going to give you your first le- lesson in Latin. Okay. Okay, the, 
phrase is called Malum and Say. Malum, Malum and Say. Malum and Say. Malum and Say. Malum and Say. Okay. M A L U M space E N space S E. Malum and Say. You care if I save that in my phone? Because I have a feeling this is going to be something want. important. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. Sorry. No problem. Okay, so actually, could you type it? Would no, that be okay? Not, okay. Not okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We don't want to spread any predatorialness. Yeah. All right. Okay. Malum and say. Malum and... Maybe just talk to Siri. She'll probably know what I you're... I have Siri activated. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got it typed down. Okay, the act is wrong regardless of what, okay, society or, okay, uh, the law says. Okay. Okay, the other thing that you're looking for is malum prohibita. Okay? Malum prohibita. It is forbidden by law. All right. And what he's doing here today is malum and say and okay, say. If you, if, I'm, I'm, I'm at least for me. Okay, if you're trying to tell me there is something uh, even least exceptionally right about a 33-year-old man oh, meeting God, up no. with a 14-year-old female for any reason, any reason, okay, any reason at all. John, okay, no, shouldn't happen. There is no reason whatsoever. Okay, it so shouldn't happen. Why the hell did you do it? I think I need to go see a therapist. Uh, maybe you should have this just smacked is... yourself in the balls with a canoe paddle. It would have been over a lot faster, and it wouldn't have hurt as much. Probably yeah, not. Okay, now I've been doing this for about 30, yeah, 31 years, and I also did 23 years uh, active duty Army and uh, National Guard. Oh, what okay. division? Thank uh, you for your service, by the way. Uh, well, thank you for your support, I guess, but... Uh, like, I used to watch Chris Hansen growing up, and I was glad he to did. get all those people off the streets, like... Wow, so you watched Chris Hansen before, and still... Yeah, so I, I don't even, like... I mean, if that doesn't teach you that it's wrong, then what, what would? I... I, I my, my, my uncle is going to be just flabbergasted when he hears about this. My Uncle Chris, can't believe it. He's not going to have any words for this. I mean, he's going to be seldom at a loss for words. I just, I don't even... Imagine there was a 14-year-old girl here, and not right. us, and her dad found out, and came up here. Honestly, I'd, what would have... I'd, I'd honestly let him just kill me. I mean, I, that's not well, acceptable. Actually, when... actually, it would be DMF status, but, you know... What's DMF? DMF. D stands for dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it's... Yes. I think we can piece the rest <laughs> of it together. Yeah. yeah. Dead mother trucker? Yeah. Yes. Hey, how's Hello. Going, officer? How you doing? Uh, what's going on today? Okay, um, I walked in on this. Uh, I'm going to let these guys start and then I'll step in where. Hi, I'm Skeet Hansen, Predatory Investigation Unit. So, nice basically, to nice to meet you. Basically, we're a civilian led organization that um, runs seeing operations online. We pose as um, underage teens on dating apps. Um, this gentleman here, his name is John, he came across our account, messaged the account first, and um, we did tell him that. Uh, we were 14 years old, and he proceeded to you know, keep talking to uh, this presumed minor and uh, meet up with her here at the uh, the movie theater to see the Barbie movie with the Barbie doll in hand. Um, that's uh, pretty much what we what we got here. Um, nothing sexual was said in particular, but we just thought it was a concern that he is here to meet you know a 14 year old girl. Okay. Do we got screenshots of all these messages? Oh, we do. Or yeah. All that type of stuff? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. I can show them to you, or you can give me an email to send them to. I'll be yeah, happy to I comply. You can go collect them. Thank you for calling us in. We will uh, we'll talk to our friend John here, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take it from here. Appreciate y'all giving right. us a call. All right, sounds good. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. And we may have another one in the next hour or so, so chances are you may be hearing from us again. All right. Not here, but uh, somewhere yeah, else. What's, uh, what's going on with this uh, wanting to be with a kid? What's the, what are your thoughts behind all this? Here, if you don't. What's that? If I get out the Yeah, I don't care. We can go talk over here. We can talk yeah. back over wherever you want. Yeah. I don't do good. In the sun. Okay. You need an ambulance? Uh, no, I, I, I'm just... I got here. You sure? Feeling all right? Okay. Okay. Are you going to pass out on me or anything? 
Do you guys have any plans of this turn in physical sexual oh, God, or anything no. like that, or just wanting no, to I see just a movie? To... I just okay. wanted somebody to watch you, a movie with. You get how you probably shouldn't. I was, uh, yeah, looking outside in now, like, realizing the extent of the situation. That's, that's f***ing, re I'm, mm, that's really stupid. All right. Um, yeah, so it hasn't really gotten quite to a point where it's criminal in nature, but like you said, we shouldn't be. Do you want an ambulance? So I can have one. I, I'm just severely here. dehydrated right now. I'm sorry. It's staring at the side. I, I apologize when I was squinting at you. I, I can't. Oh, no, no problem. I understand. John, you, you could have said I something, though, John. We didn't have to be in the sun. Oh, I, I thought it was I, I thought you were trying to get your vitamin D, is all. John, what's a good phone number for you? Do you have any water? Uh, we don't have water on hand. I'm sure the movie theater does, though. If anyone would care to get you a water. I, I, I have, whatever I have in my wallet. John, I just need water. your phone number and know if you want us to be seen by an ambulance. I, if I have water, I'll be fine. Have you ever had anything like this before, or...? No. This is the first time thing? And right. like I told him, I haven't, uh, how to say, messed with a girl, like... In over 10 years. Having a girlfriend, I, I haven't messed with anybody in 10 years. They can help you. They got lots of resources. They can point you in the right direction. Um, do you have any conversation with this supposed 14 year old female that there was parental approval of this or no no okay so you get how that's kind of a, yes not a good 100%. step either yes. do i you can call them you can they got an office downtown are you from kalamazoo or are you no. from battle creek battle creek okay well would they, it be this number then yeah not the okay. yeah not the domestic violence one but they they're just a hopefully it doesn't line go thing. there they're a baseline yeah. thing. They can help you with resources if you're really. Well, if, if your if your dad ends up you know for, kicking your ass like you said, then you might want to use the domestic. Well, I, I ended up going to jail help. one day because he kicked my ass. <laughs> okay. Well, but, probably just don't go home for a few days. All right. So at this point, we don't have anything that we got to hold you for you to be here. Um, I'd recommend we probably just go home for the day. Could you, could you do me water. a favor, or maybe could somebody do me a favor? What? Could I have somebody like walk me in? Well. Or if somebody wants to walk in and grab me a water so I can actually walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't walk I, anywhere without a water? I probably could get to my car, but I don't know how good Where'd I would Where'd you park, John? Right over there. I'm gotcha. Be right here. I'll watch you. If you fall down, okay. I'll come get you. Yep. All right? Sorry. Good luck to you, John. So you, see, yeah, uh, might, have you might be good. He's, he's moving pretty fast. And you guys don't need the doll for evidence or anything, do you? So we're gonna take the doll. I got it okay, cool. We'll just take the uh, take the Barbie doll then. It's in mint condition. So, all right, Chris. Well, we, we do appreciate you. Yep. Thanks for being there. Yep. And we appreciate might have another one in the next thirty minutes. Uh -huh. um, I don't know where we're gonna have a meet. Not here because the police are probably still gonna be here for a minute. So we might go for Target over there. If you want to go over to Target for the next one. Okay. Join us for I the next. Said about the canoe paddle. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe I'll just smack myself in the balls with a canoe. Yeah. Maybe. First. Yeah. Maybe we can do. Or you can do that to him if you want no, when he gets there. No. Can't do that. Okay. That's Unfortunately. Uh, do you have like a business card or anything? But uh, you see, I may have a business we can just, card with me. But. We can just give you a call and. Um, so we did um, come across the individual on the Meet Me um, mm -hmm. app, and um, we don't have those screenshots on this phone. I have on my other phone, but I, you know, we gave him the phone number, and he yeah. starts the conversation here. So he says, "Hey." To upload them. Through Pro text message? Probably. Or, you know. it'd, it'd be faster. Yeah. Feeling okay. better? A million. Thank you. Oh, two waters. Thirsty boy. Okay, I, it looks like I, I can upload 20 at a time. So I have like 12 more that I need to upload. Sorry, ma'am, I can't understand you. Are you taking me in? No. no, did you do something wrong? I have no clue. I don't think you did. I, th I think you're good. I think you're good. You want to see the Barbie movie? I heard it's great. You should go see the Barbie movie. So, what do you need now? Am I still the Yeah, I'd say so. All right, you all have blue eyes. I've never seen this color before. It's trippy. Huh. They're pretty blue. Almost yeah. as blue as Walter White's mouth. They look good. <laughs> okay, I'm over here. No? I, I, I think it's a laugh. 
There you go, man. Have a good one. I actually didn't get the link yet. Maybe it's still so coming over. Okay. Um, looks like he'll be arriving here at about around 8:20. He says, and we're gonna have him at that target over okay. there. So. Um, All right. Well, uh, depending on when my better half gets here, mm -hmm. uh, I'll. Yeah. We'll slowly wander over that way. Hopefully, we'll be seeing you soon. Okay. I'll be safe. Yep. Thank you, Chris. What are the odds that Chris would swoop in to save the day? You know, I'm telling you, real, yeah, exactly. Real, real good Samaritan right there in Kalamazoo. Guys, if you ever see Chris when you're out and about in Kalamazoo, buy him a beer. Thanks, man. Don't thank you. Don't thank you for being a good Samaritan. Or if, if he doesn't drink, yeah. fuck it, buy him a beer anyway. Just make him drink it. He deserves it. He owes it to himself. Um, anyway, that is going to be a cut boys here we are at kalamazoo 10 shout out to this movie theater uh they have great popcorn in there if anyone uh, is thinking about coming to see the barbie movie or oppenheimer just uh yeah just make sure you're not coming to uh see either of those with a 14 year old girl and um that's pretty much it that's gonna be a cut boys and girls uh let's let's go get fucking drunk well there you have it folks that was 33 year old john but you've got to wonder was he really just trying to take a 14 year old girl to see the Barbie movie and then just part ways with her and that's it? Or did he have predatory intentions behind his actions? The world may never know, but all we can do is hope that John will never try to meet up with any more underage girls online. Being that nothing explicit was said within the chat logs before John came to meet up, um, he did not get arrested, he was free to go, but we'll be keeping an eye out for him, that's for sure. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of To Skeet a Predator, Barbie Edition. I've been your host, Skeet Hansen, and that's going to be a cut, boys and girls. Let's go get white girl wasted.